Hello, hello. Today I have brought to you a holiday outfit lookbook. In this time of the year, there's so much different occasions, so many people you have to meet. It could be overwhelming when you're styling your outfits. I have come up with six different outfits for six different occasions. So I hope that you could find some inspirations from my video and let's get started. <laughs> I call this outfit the ice rink fairy. I styled this outfit with the occasion of an ice skating date in mind. Obviously not everybody ice skates, but I think this is a good outfit inspiration for any occasion where you have to stay outside for a pretty long time. You know, this outfit is still practical. I have to be able to move. So I thought a pair of loose fitting jeans would be the cutest and they're thick enough. So if I fall, I don't rip my knees open. I only have a Uniqlo heat tech underneath and a fur jacket on top. I try to power practicality and if you don't know what Uniqlo heat tech is you need to step up your game and I really wanted to wear a cute jacket to match the vibes of the ice skating because I feel like ice just reminds me of blue as you can see I'm wearing blue on the top and on the bottom also accessorized my outfits with a white fluffy hat I actually have owned this hat since I was in like middle school or high school. It's so cozy looking, it's so fluffy, but it still keeps me warm. I'm fucking sweating right now. I feel like it really matches the blue. But since my upper body is kind of dramatic, I decided to go for a pair of boots. I think sneakers will also look pretty good with it, but for me personally, I'm pretty short, so I look better with a little bit more height. Wear whatever that's comfortable for you. For my back, I just have a brown shoulder bag. This is like my everyday everyday bag. I thought that this would be useful to carry cameras, snacks, water. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts. I call this outfit the New Year's Eve party rock star. I know all of you out there watching this video right now have that one item in the back of your closet that you've been wanting to sell because it's so out there that you just never had the chance to wear it as much as you wanted to. This is your sign to take it out and style it right now for this New Year's party. You have to take advantage of the ones of the year holiday time where everybody just wants to look good and just have a good time. Let's take my sequin top as an example. This is definitely not something that you could wear every day. You're literally a disco ball, a walking disco ball. If you're having a hard time selling pieces like this, I have an easy and simple formula for you to follow. Always start out with that piece. The centerpiece it might be the most over the top in terms of color textures or materials and that way you have to center the rest of your outfit around that piece that is the best way and most efficient way to find a visual balance so that you don't have to worry about having too much or too little going on i chose the sequin top to be the centerpiece i wanted it to shine so the best way to do it is do it through contrast and the exact opposite from shimmer is matte that's why i chose black for all the rest of the outfit items in order to make the centerpiece really pop. However, I still opt for pieces that have an interesting shape, interesting texture in the same color. And if I have too little going on on the bottom, I'm going to look like my top is heavier than my bottom. You want to have that really nice shape that will complement the overall volume of your outfit. That's what makes it work. So this is my approach with this formula. I hope this is a good starting point for you and that way it will really make that statement piece pop and make you the life of the party. For the occasion of office holiday slash year end parties, I opted for something that is casual but still dressy and formal enough for this occasion. Um, I decided to go for some dress pants and a dress shirt but add a little twist with a very nice leather corset underneath. I feel like this combination gives off a variety of shapes and you could play with colors in that way. However, you could also opt for really basic colors. I also decided to wear a pair of candy heels. Since their heels are not that high, I think they're still movable and comfortable where you could 
walk around and talk to people and stand for a long time. However, they're still kind of formal and dressy, so it gives other people the impression that I tried, but I didn't try that hard. I also just paired it with a black leather bag matching with my shoes, just ties it together. I feel like tones it down and grounds me. For accessories, I went for full silver, very well coordinated. However, I think I try to play around with texture and materials just to, you know, have a little bit of fun, you know, loosen up. It's not that serious. I call this the hometown main character arc. Call me crazy, but I know a lot of you out there will feel like a sense of out of place when you go back home for the holidays especially when you've moved away from a big city now big part of what you're going to think about is what if i run into certain people regardless of it's in your control or if you want to meet them i think you have to dress for many different occasions especially if it's a small town let's say you run into your old crush or your ex-boyfriend or even friends and foes at the same time for me the best way to tackle this situation is following a formula you want to look chic but you also don't want to look super over the top right so i want you to prioritize on wearing pieces that are basic but have high quality or have some kind of unique character that will make it stand out so for example i'm wearing a pair of jeans and a turtleneck but i picked these two items because one color slash materials and the second cut so i think that is a really good starting point or basic formula that you could follow along the reason why i paired this outfit with such an extra jacket is because i want to give range since my base pieces are just very staple closet items i want to spice it up or have items that can spice up my outfits so maybe you're going to brunch with your girlies that you haven't seen in a long time or you just want to say fuck it and i'm going to dress my best and i'm going to look my best and i don't care whoever is talking smack so a nice leather jacket a trench coat i think any of those things would work but at the end of the day i want you to remember that you should wear whatever you're comfortable with and whatever that makes you feel your best that energy is what really shines through under those you know unforeseeable circumstances this is just an outfit that i feel like would really make myself feel me and the reason why i added a pair of sunnies is because you know sometimes you gotta go on incognito mode as soon as you throw these on and just straight away no one will attempt to talk to you just in case you know you never know you never know it's better to be prepared in my opinion This is the outfit I styled for wholesome family time. I really wanted to give in to the whole Christmassy vibes. I chose to go with really large areas of basic colors, black, red, and silver. I feel like for family occasions, you don't have to go full out. And usually you always want to offer something kind of formal, kind of dressy, but also you want to be comfortable. I decided to style my red tights with a black tank top and a black mini skirt pretty common items and i had to pull out my red sweater from paloma wool again obviously it's perfect for this occasion decided to style this like a scarf slash cape you could really play around with this element i also feel like an all black turtleneck would be really cute with this outfit paired my tights with a pair of silver ballet flats really ties in my outfit together but this bit of silver adds a lot more playfulness because i feel like on top i could look really formal and for jewelry i went with a pair of pearl earrings and a pearl necklace just to tie in the look together very simple i feel like it's basic but it's not boring <laughs> I 
I call this the holiday market straw outfit. For some reason, holiday markets to me are just ultra festive. But most importantly, I think holiday festivals is where you get the good pictures. You gotta take advantage of the trees, the decor, the extremely expensive s'mores or hot chocolates. So I think it's the perfect time for you to go full out in your outfits. For me, I was just really drawn to fluffy, like snow bunny kind of feeling. But I also wanted to make it really fun. So this is like a Sailor Moon version of it. So I styled this dress with this huge bow with a super fluffy scarf and my thrifted fluffy boots. I think they're perfect. They look so cute in pictures for the winter. And I also paired it with the Sandy Liang bow bag. Bow and bow never goes wrong. I think it's perfect. And I also put on a pair of tights just for warmth. The reason why I didn't add a jacket for this outfit is because I feel like the real drama is underneath the jacket. In order to get really, really good pictures, you've got to give us a little peek of what's underneath. You can wear whatever you want outside. Anything that keeps you warm and comfy. But for me personally, I would really want to wear a fit that is Instagram worthy underneath at least. So that sums up my holiday outfit lookbook. So I hope that you found some inspirations in terms of how to coordinate your outfits and what to prioritize for different contexts and occasions. As always, thank you so much for being here. Happy holidays and I will see you very soon.